all right all right all right what is popping y'all if you're tuning in share some love smash that like button i ain't doing this for entertainment so please hook a brother up and engage so i do a lot of talking about profit production and freedom right so profitability affects uh, the long term, the longevity of your business, right? Long term viability. Production, of course, production is production. Uh, whether that's selling more, getting in front of more people, getting more work done in less time. And uh, freedom is freedom, right? You're no longer working to live or you're no longer living to work. You're working to live. So you're working on your business instead of in your business, which is good. And most, a lot of producers, a lot of high-level producers struggle with this, right? They struggle with <clears throat> having the freedom and having the time to go out and enjoy their life. Uh, they're not as productive as they want to be because they're getting pulled in 10,000 different directions every day, all day. And that ultimately affects their profitability because they tend to hit a cap. They hit a ceiling, right? Hitting those ceilings is no fun. Boop, boop, boop. Right. <laughs> So, I wanted to shift the conversation away a little bit because this ties into all that. What are your three P's, right? I read uh, Spartan Way recently by Joe DeSena and Unbeatable Mind by Mark Devine. And both of these books stress in their own way the three P's, right? Passion, purpose, principles. So what are you passionate about? That one's pretty self-explanatory. What drives you? What pushes you? What motivates you? What keeps you up at night, right? What what gets your blood boiling? What tickles you pink in all the right ways? Your purpose. Now, that's a hard one. There's a lot of different things going on about that. Or your ethos, right? What drives you? What's your higher calling? What are you driven to do in life? For myself, it's elevating other entrepreneurs and business owners to achieve new heights of freedom, profit, and productivity. And I explained that at the beginning of the video, what that means to me and what I come across every single day. Being able to articulate what your purpose is, what drives you, what makes you tick, what your higher calling is, is very important. It's, you got to be connected to a purpose. You got to be connected to an ethos, whether that's uh, core or core values is another term for it. So typically we have our core values, our ethos for our personal lives. We have another one for our business life. Um, so on and so forth, right? And principles. So that would be your values. What are your guiding principles? What do you value? What are your what are your core values? So operating out of integrity, transparency, open door policy, treating everybody with the utmost levels of respect and consideration, uh, not turning anybody down. Like what does that look like for you? And it's not... It's very hard to do anything substantial. It's very hard to do anything big in life without being connected to those things, without having an ethos, without having some guiding principles, some core values, without having passion, right? If you're not passionate, you're not going to be getting out of bed. You're not going to be taking care of yourself. You're going to be lacking in the bank account. There's going to be, it's to be very hard to make money, right? So what can you do to find your three Ps? What can you do to come up with an ethos or a mission statement takes a lot of inner work right inner work up here inner work in here so, so it starts with your passions what are you passionate about what do you like doing for myself I like helping businesses grow I like helping business owners hit new heights right I've been there I've been through those ebbs and flows those ups and downs I know what it's like to struggle to make more profits within the business uh, what it's like to feel disconnected what the ebbs and flows are like you know the the peaks, the peaks and valleys, the boom and bust cycles of business and value. Like, what do you value? What is your emphasis in life? How does that connect to your higher calling? So do the inner work, right? Uh, those two books are very good. They do, they break, I can't cover this in a five minute video, but they really do a great job of breaking down how to uncover that stuff, figure it out for yourself, put an action plan in place and fulfill that vision and start taking steps toward it. So I hope this helps guys at the end of the day. I like clarity. I like providing clarity. I like helping with clarity. Guaranteed somebody in your network needs some more clarity. Share this with somebody who needs to hear it. Get the word out there. Drop your feedback down below. Let me know your ethos, your mission statement, your purpose, your passion, and we will chat soon. Cheers.